center of the area. I'm at the Denver Airport with the new art installation in the center of the, the airport. We start off here with the world. At the South Pole, there is a gate, and then around the world is sand. At the North Pole, there's this pole that leads up to this arrow. So guys, um, I believe this is not the first time you're hearing about the Denver Airport. If this is the first time, you guys need to do a little bit of digging on it. Um, for just a little bit of briefing, um, this airport is like one of the most expensive airports in the world. If not the most expensive airport in the world, it's over. It it took billions. I don't know, maybe it's over ten. I don't know, but billions to make. But you won't be able to see what took billions to make in this airport. Basically, like. Where did all the billions go? Well, a lot of people have creepy answers to that question. I believe there's a documentary I watched on it. Maybe it's on my local channel. You guys can go there and check it out. This um, airport, a lot of people actually believe that it's creepy. It's not just a belief system. It's actually what it is. It's a really, really creepy airport. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. Uh, they have talking goggles, they have a lot of paintings that actually describe a lot of crazy things that will go on in the world. And also there's a part where there is Israel and Palestine. If you guys, in that documentary, there were paintings of Israel and Palestine and there's war and there's famine and there's a lot of crazy, crazy things, especially some things that are going on right now is depicted there. And some things that will happen in the future was actually on the paintings. There are a lot of all these paintings in the in the airport and there comes there's a horse too in that airport. And this horse has like a red eyes, like a red creepy eyes. I don't know if you guys have seen that in then in the Denver airport. Those of you some of you might have gone there you would see it's a very very huge horse and some people actually believe that these horses remind them of the four horses four horsemen and you know the four horsemen but um this horse does not match any color of the four horsemen but this horse has actually killed someone yes it's actually it is actually killed. It's, it's a statue but there was a time when they called a man to actually check the statue and the horse actually fell on him and killed and killed the man so um there's a lot of crazy crazy stuff about the denver airport but let's continue the arrow points down to what it looks like perhaps a firmament to a train station i should also mention the world is depicted as flat over there from the train station from um, I know a lot of people might not agree with this one or might be annoying that I even mentioned this But I just want to put it out there and This is not just my belief. It is what I see every day uh, I believe I walk on a flat surface and everywhere I go is flat. I've never seen no curve and There's a lot of um, TV shows and children's shows talking about the same subject, but they all, you know, they all downplay it and make it into a children's show and just make, make it not make sense to an adult. But yeah, if you guys can put the pieces together, you can put the pieces together. I mean, if they can convince you that the ground you which you are standing on, which is flat, is round, come on, man, they can convince you of anything. So, um, another thing I would like to uh, talk about here is the flat earth that was described in the airport right i don't know if you guys have seen it in the united nations logo and i don't know if you've seen it in inside the united nations themselves like there's a different kind like a 3d version of it that shows the antarctic circle and everything off flat like that the image has been going around the internet you guys if you guys do a little bit of digging you might find it but if you guys want to do digging on that it's kind of hard now to to do that except you know a separate search engine that you know you can use maybe you can try brave because the other side the popular search engines are all censoring materials on it so you guys know what to use but i'm just putting it out there i'm not saying you guys should believe it i'm not saying that arrow we come down here perhaps 
a way to get in and out of the world as we know it. Again, surrounded by rocks and sand. Maybe this is where the lizard people live. Yeah, it's weird. So guys, um, in conclusion, um, the Den Airport is a really, really interesting topic, I would say. You guys should try to look into it. You'll find a lot, a lot of interesting stuff. And if you guys want me to talk about it in full, like let's talk about it, break down documentaries, bring a lot of evidence, you know, especially the deep underground evidence that a lot of people have been talking about the there are some women that actually came out and said someone took her down there and the person actually took her down there is nowhere to be found to date so if you guys want me to touch into it separately let me know in the comment section i would create a live stream on that on my rumble channel there we can talk about it and without fear of censorship or, or anything else like that um i would like you guys to you know go to my rumble channel check it out i upload new content there all the time i'm actually live now see you guys rumble and in the next video bye